Hi, this is a video from theweatherguru.com to talk about some high-resolution visible imagery we're getting now. The Suomi Polar Orbiting Satellite was launched in 2011, and on board that was the Visible Infrared Imaging Radiometer Suite, also known as VERS. Not sure which package it is on here, but I think it's this one right here. In this presentation, I'll compare some of the imagery from this new high-res sensor to what we normally get with GOES. Here are some statistics from VERS and GOES to compare. Notice that VERS orbits at a much lower altitude since it's a polar orbiter. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if these are the max resolutions that the sensors are capable of, but that's the max resolution I was able to access. And also of interest is the speed with which VERS travels. It's really flying up there at just under 18,000 miles an hour. By comparison, GOES orbits uh, zero, relative, zero miles per hour relative to Earth since it's a geostationary satellite and sits above one spot. And for those of you who are really geeky like me, here's the equation that I use to calculate the uh, speed, the orbital speed of VERS. So I think it's more fun to calculate things myself than to look them up on the internet. So here's an example from a couple days ago of a VERS visible satellite image. This is half kilometer resolution. And the lower the number, the better the resolution. And it's not so much uh, what weather is going on here. I'm not interested in that today. But what I'm looking at is how well you can see some of the features on this satellite image. I thought it was interesting to compare the VERS imagery directly with the GOES-15 imagery. Right here on the left is the VERS half kilometer and the GOES one kilometer visible satellite image from this roughly the same time and at almost exactly the same place. You can really see the difference in the two. The features on the VERS such as Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Adams, and Hood really stick out. Compare that to goes 15, the one kilometer stuff, and these images are there, but they're, or these features are there, but they're very vague. Not, they don't stand out at all. So it's amazing the difference between one kilometer and half kilometer, just, just twice the resolution, and you get so much more detail. So these are two images I have downloaded, and I've zoomed in as far as I can go. One on the left is Crater Lake. You can see quite a bit of detail around the lake itself. Also notice, amazingly, you can see Wizard Island in the middle of the lake. That's a little cinder cone in the middle of Crater Lake. On the right is Mount Shasta. And you can also make out quite a bit of detail on Mount Shasta. You can see, you can actually make out some of the ridges on Mount Shasta and some of the valleys. You can see some of the glaciers as well. So all I've done in this video is just examine some of the ground using the VERS satellite. But in upcoming videos, I'll show some weather images from VERS. There's a lot of detail and a lot of cool things you can see in, with the weather using the VERS satellite as well. Thanks for listening.